Urinary catheterization is a common medical procedure. Nurses must understand it well. It involves inserting a thin, flexible tube or catheter into the bladder. This tube allows urine to drain from the bladder. Catheterization is crucial for various medical situations. Male catheterization, specifically, has unique anatomical considerations. Understanding the male urethra structure is vital. The male urethra is longer than the female urethra. This impacts the catheterization technique. Nurses play a critical role in this procedure. They ensure patient safety, comfort, and dignity. Mastering this skill is essential for nursing practice. It directly impacts patient well-being. Before beginning the procedure, gather all necessary equipment. Having everything ready ensures a smooth and efficient process. This also minimizes patient discomfort by reducing delays. Start with a sterile catheterization kit. The kit contains all the sterile components needed. This includes gloves, drapes, antiseptic solution, lubricant, and the catheter itself. Choose the appropriate catheter size based on the patient's age and size. Additionally, you will need a urine collection bag. This bag attaches to the catheter to collect the drained urine. Ensure you have a designated stand or area to hang the bag. Explain the procedure to the patient clearly and calmly. Address any questions or concerns they may have. Obtain informed consent. This step is crucial for building trust and ensuring patient cooperation. Next, position the patient properly. The supine position with legs slightly spread is ideal. This position provides optimal access to the penis. Ensure privacy by using drapes or curtains. Maintaining patient dignity is crucial throughout the procedure. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water, then put on sterile gloves. Maintaining a sterile field throughout the procedure is paramount. This minimizes the risk of urinary tract infections. Prepare the catheter. This is a crucial step in ensuring a smooth and safe catheterization process. Make sure all your equipment is sterile and ready for use. Open the catheterization kit using sterile technique. This helps prevent any potential infections and maintains the sterility of the equipment. Apply sterile lubricant to the tip of the catheter. The lubricant reduces friction, making the insertion process smoother and more comfortable for the patient. This minimizes friction and eases insertion. Cleanse the meatus thoroughly to ensure that the area is free from any contaminants that could cause infection. With your non-dominant hand, gently grasp the penis. This helps stabilize the area and provides better control during the procedure. Retract the foreskin if the patient is uncircumcised. This step is essential to expose the urethral meatus fully. Using antiseptic swabs, cleanse the glands penis and urethral meatus. Proper cleansing reduces the risk of introducing bacteria into the urinary tract. Use a circular motion moving from the meatus outward. This technique ensures that any contaminants are moved away from the insertion site. Repeat this cleansing process three times. This repetition ensures maximum cleanliness. Now, you are ready to insert the catheter. With your dominant hand, hold the catheter firmly. A steady hand is crucial for a smooth insertion. Slowly and gently insert the catheter into the urethral meatus. Take your time to avoid causing any discomfort or injury to the patient. Advance the catheter until urine begins to flow. This indicates that the catheter is in the bladder. Inflate the balloon to secure it in place. Once urine flow is established, advance the catheter approximately 2 inches further. This ensures that the balloon is fully inside the bladder. Inflate the catheter balloon using the pre-filled syringe provided in the kit. The balloon helps keep the catheter securely in place. This secures the catheter within the bladder. Connect the drainage system to allow urine to flow out of the bladder. Secure the catheter to the patient's thigh using tape or a designated catheter strap. This prevents accidental dislodgement and ensures the catheter stays in place. Connect the catheter to the urine collection bag. Make sure the connection is secure to prevent any leaks. Ensure the bag is positioned lower than the bladder to facilitate proper drainage. This positioning uses gravity to help urine flow into the bag efficiently. Section 5. 
Overcoming Common Challenges, Troubleshooting Tips for Nurses. In this section, we will cover some of the most common issues nurses face during catheterization and provide practical solutions to overcome them. During catheterization, you may encounter difficulties. These challenges can be frustrating, but with the right techniques, they can be managed effectively. The most common issue is difficulty passing the catheter through the urethra. This can happen for various reasons including anatomical variations or patient anxiety. If resistance is met, do not force the catheter. Forcing it can cause injury to the patient and complicate the procedure further. Instead, instruct the patient to take deep breaths and try to relax. This can help ease the passage of the catheter. Rotating the catheter slightly may also help. This technique can navigate around any obstructions and facilitate smoother insertion. If these maneuvers fail, consider using a smaller sized catheter. A smaller catheter can often pass through tighter spaces more easily. Another common issue is the inability to inflate the balloon. This is crucial for securing the catheter in place. This could be due to a faulty balloon or incorrect syringe attachment. Always check the equipment before proceeding. Check the balloon for any visible defects. A damaged balloon will not inflate properly and needs to be replaced. Ensure the syringe is properly attached to the balloon port. A secure connection is essential for the balloon to inflate correctly and hold the catheter in place. Section 6. Prioritizing patient care compassion throughout the procedure. Remember, catheterization can be an uncomfortable and embarrassing procedure for patients. Throughout the process, prioritize patient comfort and dignity. Communicate with the patient throughout, explaining each step. Offer reassurance and address any anxieties they express. Provide pain relief if necessary. Applying lidocaine jelly to the urethra before catheterization can minimize discomfort. Be gentle and take your time. Rushing the procedure can increase patient discomfort and anxiety. Section 7 Maintaining Sterility – Reducing the Risk of Infection Maintaining a sterile field throughout the procedure is paramount to prevent urinary tract infections. Only touch sterile items with sterile gloves. Avoid touching non-sterile surfaces with your gloved hands. If contamination occurs, replace the contaminated items with sterile ones immediately. After the procedure, dispose of all used equipment properly in designated biohazard containers. Section 8. Post-Procedure Care, Ensuring Patient Comfort and Monitoring. This section is crucial for ensuring the well-being of the patient after catheterization. After catheterization, document the procedure thoroughly in the patient's medical record. This includes noting the time of the procedure, the type of catheter used, and any immediate observations. Note the catheter size, the amount of urine drained, and any complications encountered. Accurate documentation helps in monitoring the patient's progress and identifying any issues early. Monitor the patient's urine output closely. Consistent monitoring can help detect any abnormalities in urine production, which could indicate potential complications. Report any signs of infection such as cloudy urine, foul-smelling urine, or fever to the healthcare provider immediately. Early detection of infection is vital for prompt treatment and preventing further complications. Regularly assess the catheter insertion site for redness, swelling or discharge. These signs could indicate an infection or other issues that need to be addressed promptly. Educate the patient on proper catheter care and hygiene. This includes explaining the importance of keeping the catheter and surrounding area clean to prevent infections. Teach them how to clean the catheter site and recognize signs of infection. Proper education empowers patients to take an active role in their own care. Provide clear instructions on when and how to empty the drainage bag. Ensuring the patient understands these steps is essential for maintaining hygiene and preventing complications. Section 9. Conclusion. Mastering Catheterization for Optimal Patient Care Male catheterization is a fundamental skill for nurses. Mastering this procedure ensures optimal patient care and safety. By following the steps outlined above and prioritizing patient comfort